Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2017 American science fiction and action movie called Beyond Skyline. This movie is a sequel to the 2010 movie Skyline, set concurrently with the events of the first movie. The movie begins with a dying woman named Rose who is brought by several men in an alien spaceship. The scene moves to Los Angeles where ex-detective Mark visits LAPD to free his son, Trent, out of jail. There, he meets up with Officer Garcia, Mark's old friend who helps him out. Fed up with his son's behavior, he requests Garcia to lock Trent up, but he changes his mind after Garcia warns him that it is final warning for his son. After that, Trent is released and it seems like the relationship between them is not too good for some reasons. On their way, Trent finally explains that he got into trouble after he was insulted by a man and he answered it with punches, which makes his father proud. Suddenly, the train crashes and loses its power. Mark, with his detective instinct, approaches the train operator, Audrey, who claims that the radio somehow stops working. Meanwhile, outside the station, several blue lights start falling from the sky. All passengers begin to panic as the train crashes for the second time. Audrey tries to calm them down and suddenly someone on the radio warns them not to look at the blue lights. The passengers rebel and decide to leave the train on their own. Mark leads them to escape through underground tunnels. They eventually arrive at a subway station where Trent spots a blue light and follows it. Trent and a woman, who accidentally see the blue light, become helpless and walk towards the light. Luckily, Mark arrives on time and rescues his son. Meanwhile, Garcia is confused when he finds out everyone in the police station is missing, except his colleague, Jones. He brings a shotgun with him and checks the situation outside with Jones. He is shocked when he sees the entire population is attracted by the light and is sucked into an alien mothership through the blue light. After Trent regains his consciousness, Mark, Audrey, and the other survivors run back into the underground tunnel where they coincidentally meet Garcia. The group decide to walk through the tunnel and stay overnight there to avoid any threats outside. The next day, Mark attempts to peek outside a tunnel and is freaked out when he sees several combat aircrafts approaching the alien mothership, but all of them are being destroyed by the aliens. One of the missiles hits the mothership and causes a huge explosion, which causes the underground tunnel to fall apart. To make things worse, the remaining survivors, including Sarge, who is sightless, are confronted by an alien. Mark grabs the shotgun and starts shooting at it ruthlessly. He seems to manage to kill the alien and free Garcia from it, but the alien suddenly awakens and pulls Jones's brain out of her head. They then learn that the alien needs a brain to function and it then starts attacking them again. The survivors try to escape and Mark manages to eliminate the alien by exploding it. Meanwhile, the alien mothership is seen repairing itself and begins to fly around again. They try to run out of the city, but are confronted by another alien. Garcia volunteers himself to buy some time for his friends, but the alien is just too strong for him and Garcia gets sucked by it. Mark, Audrey, Trent, and Sarge eventually arrive at a port where another huge alien appears and sucks all of them into the alien mothership. A few moments later, Mark awakens, finding himself in a pile of unconscious humans whose brains are ripped out of their head by the alien and, and thrown out of the vessel. The arm is going to aim Trent, so he shoots it to distract the arm, which draws the alien leader's attention and he decides to suck everyone into another chamber. Mark almost gets caught by the arm, but he manages to escape and falls down. Luckily for him, his leg is stuck in one of the ship's parts, which prevents him from free falling from the mothership. At this point, the alien leader is shown trying to attack another part of Earth to collect more brains. Mark climbs back to the mothership and discovers a lot of pregnant woman corpses. While continuing exploring the vessel, he is confronted by a blue-eyed alien. Mark is cornered, but an alien with red eyes suddenly shows up and helps him, ripping the brain out of its head. Mark follows the kind-hearted alien and comes across a woman, Elaine, who is about to give birth. Turns out that the red-eyed alien was previously Jared, the girl's former boyfriend, whose brain was implanted into the alien machine or humanoid. Jared somehow managed to control himself and was not affected by the humanoid after seeing his girlfriend was still alive. With Mark's help, Elaine gives birth to a little girl and unfortunately passes away after the process. After that, Mark promises Jared to get his daughter off the ship since her biological father has transformed into a humanoid and Jared decides to help him to find his son. On their way, the red-eyed alien equips Mark with an alien weapon by inserting his arm into an hole. It is also revealed that Jared plans to blow the alien mothership. They eventually arrive at the control room where the alien leader suddenly appears. Jared sends Mark and his little girl to another chamber where Trant and Audrey manage to free themselves and attempt to escape from the chamber. They reunite and come across Sarge and try to help him, 
but an alien shows up and unfortunately kills Trent in the process. Mark is enraged and fights the alien. Thanks to his alien weapon, he is now able to kill the alien with his own hands. On the other side, the alien leader battles Jared and easily defeats him. He immediately heads over to the chamber and attacks Sarge, who tries to protect the baby from the alien. The dying Jared uses his remaining power to destroy the mothership, which gives Audrey and Mark more time to dodge the alien leader. The ship crashes in Laos where the local residents, including Sua and Kanya, are trying to fight against the alien invasion. Mark, Audrey, the baby, and the wounded Sarge survive from the crash and escape from the ship. Meanwhile, the alien leader also survives and begins the automatic ship repair operation while preparing an army to invade the nearby places. Sarge dies on their way exploring the land due to excessive loss of blood. They then meet Kanya and Sua, who guide them to a hut. Kanya and Sua find out that Mark is a cop, thinking that he is in disguise. The fight between the Americans and the Asians ensues. Suddenly, they spot the local police officers patrolling, who have been on the warpath since the alien arrived. They then reconcile. Sua, Kanya, and the Americans team up to dodge the local police. Later that night, Mark shares to the Asians about the alien machine or humanoids which basically are still humans because they need human brains to operate, meaning that all of them can be freed. The next morning, Mark awakens, only to find out that someone is pointing a gun at his head. Sua immediately takes him down. On the other side, Audrey is surprised when she sees the little girl has grown rapidly. Kanya and Sua bring their new allies to their hideout which is located under a beautiful temple, Wat Shiva. Turns out that the Asians sell drugs for their living, no wonder if they hate cops so much. There, Mark also meets scientist Harper, who checks the girl's condition. Afterward, he examines the girl's blood, discovering that the girl might be an alien because of her weird blood structure. Aware of this, Kanya immediately confronts the girl, but Mark manages to calm her down saying that the girl may be the key for them to free the human mind inside the alien machine and defeat the alien. After the situation subsides, Harper explains that the girl will die due to rapid growth because it will deplete her entire system. Since the girl needs transfusion to survive, Mark volunteers himself because one of his arms has been affected by the alien weapon. The scene suddenly moves to Rose, the girl from the beginning of the movie, who finally awakens and it seems like she remembers something. Back at the temple, the transfusion works well and the girl seems much healthier than before. Harper examines the blue egg, which was found by Kanya earlier, and discovers the blue liquid stored within it which allows the blue lights to control human's mind. Turns out that the blue liquid is biologically compatible with human DNA, indicating that the alien purposely planted humans on Earth and now comes back to harvest. Thanks to the little girl, Harper believes that her serum can be their ultimate weapon to free the human mind inside the alien machine and then defeat the alien. Realizing that the aliens will come back, the humans prepare themselves and the women plant some traps around the temple. Suddenly, an enormous alien appears and starts chasing Kanya. She tries to lure the alien to the minefield, but unfortunately, she accidentally steps on the landmine. Left with no option, she sacrifices herself and the explosion kills both Kanya and the alien. However, this allows the alien leader to locate them and is ready to launch the full attack on the temple. At this point, Harper has finished developing the serum, and Mark, who plans to inject it to the alien's cannon, takes the syringe. The alien army arrives at the temple, but they don't realize that they have fallen into human's trap. The explosion eliminates most of the aliens, but several aliens manage to break into their hideout. Sua challenges an alien to a duel and manages to burn it to death. Meanwhile, Mark sneaks into the alien mothership while the humans prepare for the upcoming battle. However, Mark is spotted by one of the aliens and gets attacked. Turns out that the alien was inserted with Trent's brain and Mark realizes that. A few moments later, Mark manages to inject the serum into one of the bullets, which allows alien Trent to remember his memories and regain consciousness. Outside the mothership, the enormous alien machine, which is controlled by the alien leader, appears and wreaks havoc at the temple. Harper is killed when he tries to save Audrey from the emerging alien. The alien leader spots the red bullet and destroys the launcher which prevents it from being launched. Afterward, the humans reunite and continue to battle the aliens, but this time, they manage to outpower them and slaughter the emerging aliens. Not long after, the huge alien leader approaches them, but suddenly is attacked by alien Trent. The battle continues when the little girl silently walks towards the launcher and somehow manages to fix it. The alien Trent grabs the launcher and shoots the red bullet, which kills the alien leader. The bullet emits a very bright red light which allows the aliens to control themselves and regain their human consciousness. After the historical battle against the alien, Audrey decides to name the little girl Rose. 
Turns out that the woman at the beginning of the movie was the little girl and now Rose is ready to fight back and destroy the entire alien race. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.